Well, good morning, Derby Jack here. It it doesn't seem it seems a little brighter out here, but it's it was rainy last night. It wasn't I mean it was rainy all throughout the night. It stopped and went. Didn't bother me in the tent, I was dry, no problem. A little chilly out today, and um I gotta go out and get buy some firewood. Look, people, this excursion <laughs> is expensive. <laughs> food, food where I'm at is very expensive because it's out in the country. It's better food, better quality, but it's expensive. But anyway, so in saying that, understand as a minister, I am still working. I am still, you know, trying to do my job as 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 an orator of truth. I want to read this little part here in Ephesians because something I had a teaching yesterday. I was trying to I was going to do on uh, I, I had this hooked up on uh, on the internet. The internet's not working this morning, so I can't even get on the internet. And hopefully, this is still going to get downloaded from the phone. I hate working on the phone because I got a little bit more to work with on the computer, but I can't do it until it gets on. So anyway. This is going to be from Ephesians, <clears throat> and it says, uh, Paul, uh, number, uh, verse 1, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints which are in Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus, grace be to you in peace from, our, from God, our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places, in Christ now this word heavenly places well the word places was italicized so it's it's an added in word so if we were just to for a moment take it off and we just say spiritual blessings in heavenlies in Christ because remember when you became born again you received not Jesus you didn't receive the flesh you received the what the spirit of Christ you received the spirit you receive the power. You receive the, the, the essence of what was in Jesus when that led him what? To the cross. That was the power. Okay? Now, understand. Okay, so we have all spiritual blessings. It doesn't say some. It doesn't say a few. It doesn't say a couple. It says all. Now, think about that. All spiritual blessings. We don't even know what that means. When you really get down to it, spiritual blessings. And it says, it, it, in, 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 when you put the italicized, heavenly places. Well, the heavenly places is that God in the man. Remember, what happens in the heavenlies are also happening on earth. What happens above is also below, right? The the delusion or illusion that Satan always seems to push is what? The, the, the illusion that, that he is. See, he wants to thunder. He, 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 he wants the gratitude. He, he, wants to, he, he, he wants the adulation. He needs to be recognized. He needs to be worshipped. You see what I'm saying? So, in saying that, what God has given to us, and one not reason that we worship him because he's given us blessings, but in, in response that our faith builds up the blessings in the heavenly realm. Meaning that whatever happens on this earth or in the heavenlies, there are things that will happen on this earth manifested for you, for me, because we are building our faith base. We are building ourselves up in what? Spiritual power. We are not allowing ourselves to be torn down in what? The spiritual power that God has given us. So what do we walk? Yes, we walk in the walk of truth. And we never allow ourselves to, to get pushed down. And always remember, when you're walking in truth, God has in store for you 
there is something waiting for you down the road. There is always something there. Blessings are always available from the heavenlies. So when heavenly places means that it will manifest itself as you're walking in this world, walking for God in truth, in light, in power of the Holy Spirit. Now, it says, in the heavenly blessing, all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ. And reason I say that it's not just in heaven, but also here, because what do we have in us? We have Christ. And all these things are blessed in Christ. We have blessings because of Christ. We were blessed the day he died on that cross. We were blessed the day he resurrected on that cross from his grave. We, we, we were blessed the day we confessed Lord Jesus and he came. The spirit that was in Jesus came to us to be able to empower us the same way the Spirit empowered what? Jesus. To what? Go to the cross. Now, in chapter 2, verse 1, And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in times past he walked according to the course of this world. Now understand something. Before you have all this spiritual power, have all this understanding and wisdom and knowledge, okay? Remember, you walked according to the course of the world. People think, well, I run my own life. I'm an atheist, right? So you're an atheist, right? Cool and fine. I run my own life. Do you? In atheism, you have to believe a certain way. You don't want to believe in God. But isn't it kind of funny and on, on, on an off point that those who are atheists speak against God and speak about God and speak against the Bible and speak about the Bible more than Christians do? So apparently, for those who don't believe in him, they talk a hell of a lot about him, don't they? In one fashion or another. Or they have to keep bringing up how much they don't believe in God. Or those who... Or the Satan worshipers, you know, the the the, the kitty the kitty Satan worshipers, right? They want to get in the schools, you know. We don't believe in devil, but we just like to, you know, use the platform, you know. We giving devil bad bad rap, you know, that type of thing. But it says that wherein in times past we walked at what? According to the course, according to the course, the course of this world. So you weren't your own man. You weren't your own woman. You have never been your own man. Now, when you become gods, you actually have more freedom. And you actually, actually you have freedom. Because you're not walking according to the course of this world. Because now you've stopped according to the course of this world. And now you have stopped and you're looking at the course of this world. And you're seeing where the course of this world is going. And of course, you don't want to go the same way now because your eyes are open. And if that's true... And if your eyes are open, then guess what? That means that you will not walk according to the course of this world. So, hath he quickened? And it says here in parentheses, as he has he quickened, and, or, or you could take it off and say, and who were dead in trespasses and sins were in time past. So he says, has he, they, they added it like, now you have been quickened, now you have been changed. Now you have been um You've been given you've been given a new program for all you, you know, computer nerds, right? You've been given a new program. Okay? And uh, you you could say software, but basically it's hardware, okay? Especially when it's got, you know, uh, um it's got a shield and it's got a sword and it's it's got an armor, you know. Of course, we're talking we're talking hardware for the soul, you know. We're talking hardware to preserve the soul, to 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 keep the soul safe right? That's what we're supposed to do. The whole point of when you were born was what? To keep that soul safe for who? God, right? So, where in times past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air. So yeah, you never controlled your own life. The course of the world is anything that's against God. Perversity, you know, um, any uh, uh, evil, any type of evil, angry, 
angry, wars, you know, contentions, all these things that come out of hatred, that come out of darkness, that come out of fear, that come out of death, all the things that lead to death, okay? And yet we want to walk according to the course of the world because it leads to death. It, without God, most people I even remember in my times past would say things like, you know, well, you only live once, right? And, and you're going to die someday. So, you know, just live it up and have a good time, you know, and, and whatever happens, happens, you know. So I've been there. I've done that. And guess what? Left me empty. Made me realize, you know, what, what, what good is work? What good is it to live? course you could be a, you could be those people who like to you know run around like you know trump well I, i'm i'm cut out of the cloth of a, 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 a of all the demigods and napoleon and and all these other ones yeah you're cut from the same burlap bag not you know that's the cloth you were cut from so in saying all that so among whom also this is three Okay, no, no, let me go back to, where in times past we walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirits that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So if you're walking in disobedience, of course, then what? You're walking according to the course of the world. If you're walking according to the course of the world, you're not walking according to your course. You're going by whatever the winds are blowing. Among whom we also had uh, conversations in times past in the lust of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, even as others. So, if you're walking against that, and you're not walking towards the course of that, then guess what? You're free. You're li you, you have liberty. Because no longer are you tied down to the spiritual gravitation of this world and so bulk up as i have to look at myself and sit here and say the same thing things may not be working exactly as planned but i have to believe in one thing that i am walking according to the liberty i am walking within the grounds of the power i am also walking within the the confines uh, uh, the, uh, not the kind, uh, uh, not the word, that's not the word I was looking for, it's all the opposite. I, I am looking for that area that opens up to, 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 to a wide berth of truth, of, 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 of vision. I, because I want to continue walking that straight line. I want to continue walking that course of liberty. I want to continue walking that course of faith. I want to continue walking that because that gives me more freedom to what? To become stronger. Not to allow myself to be weakened. Every time you allow the world to call you as if it's more important than your walk with God. I'm going to tell you something. I've been there. We all feel tied down at times. You have to work. You have a family. I don't have that, okay? Matter of fact, you're all more blessed than I am. If you have a, a tight rut walking around right now, you're trying to listen to me and you got a little tight walking, running around, making noise, and you've got to be blessed because God has given you a life to, 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 to teach do you know how blessed it is for you people have children? And then when you let them out in the world and you let them out and you have them not trained, not uh, don't have the ability to, to, to know the difference between right and wrong and find themselves what? Walking the course of this world. Getting caught up in the course of all the filthiness. Getting caught up in the course of all the perversity. All, all the mangling of the body and the flesh. All the destruction of a child's ability to grow. Do you know a child needs its innocence? So it knows the difference between what is right and wrong. But if you don't let the child grow up with its innocence, it will always walk in error unless it's taught innocence. And it's a lot harder to bring a human being who has become a child, lose their innocence and try to bring them back to innocence again. 
That's God's work. That's God's job. But it doesn't make it easy. And so when you are a parent, your job is to teach your child the course of truth, the course of life, the course of, 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 of God and his word and the purpose. And that's your liberty. That's your liberty. So in saying all that, Now, let, let's go one more here. We'll go one more. And we'll go, we'll go, we'll go to three, okay? Among whom also we all had our conversations times past in our lusts of the flesh, fulfilling desires of the flesh and the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath as uh, others. Four, but God, who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together in Christ. By grace you are saved. So remember, by grace you're saved because God has given it to you. You already have it. You just have to accept it if you haven't already. Romans 10, 9, 10, you know, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God raised from the dead, for with the mouth confession is made it onto what? Salvation, right? So that's what it's all about. So in saying all that, Pray for people who need pray to be prayed for. Pray for family members to come to God in truth. Pray for those people in Maui that they don't get railroaded like they're being railroaded, thrown out in the ocean, you know, like they were torched to death and most of their family members and bloodlines. Uh, and now they want to take over Hawaii. They want to take over Honolulu. They want to build 15-minute cities and all kinds of bull crap, right? Think about what's going on on the border. Right now, Iran and Israel are at war, right? Supposedly, you know, this is what they're telling us, you know. That if you watch CNN and you watch all the talking heads of lies and disruption and, and, and just a bunch of crap, right? You believe it. Why? Don't believe the lies of the world. Don't believe the course of the world. Don't walk that way. I don't care what the song says. Walk this way. Don't walk that way. Walk the other way. Stop in your tracks and look around. Don't walk because everybody else is walking over that cliff. So anyway, pray, pray, pray. Pray for me. I'm still a minister at large. Minister at large. Derby Jack. And maybe that's what I do. Derby Jack, minister at large. There you go. So anyway, in saying all that, remember, we walk according to to the course of truth according to the course of what is right not according to the course of lies so in saying all that you know if you can if you can give remember derby jack is still a minister still trying to keep the ministry going uh five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars whatever you may be able to give if you can if you can't cool and fine but in saying that i love you all and hope that Y'all are being blessed because I know the world right now is going to hell. And all we have, all we have is faith in God and faith in the truth that this is the only thing that matters in our lives. And without it, we have nothing. And it's saying all that. I love y'all. Um, like I said, if you can give, remember I have a PayPal, GoFundMe, whatever you can give. Pray for it first. Make sure it's ordained by God. Make sure that you are sanctioned by God to be able to do so. And if not, then don't. Just pray for me. And uh, make sure it's blessed before it's given. In the name of Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you right now for your word. I thank you right now for the ears to hear and the hearts to receive. I just thank you for all the things in which you have given us, Father. All the riches you give us. Riches that we don't even know that are there, that have already been waiting for us. And all we have to do is open our eyes to see and recognize. And I claim obedience in the spirit. I pray for all those people in harm's way that, you know, that if they die, they die saved, Father. I pray for all people to come to the knowledge of God's word because Heavenly Father, you know you're coming soon. Satan knows his time is ended. In the name of Christ, I pray, amen and amen. Derby Jack out, and I hope to see you all on the other side.